the food there is different, the food culture is different, everything. Um, we still have the, the same restaurants you have here, but it's, it's way different back home. So uh, the main two things that I notice here um, is that um, it's everything's so commercial. Like fruits are sold in packets and <laughs> yeah, vegetables are sold in packets and like diced onion, diced tomatoes. So it's like, this was really weird for me to see like stuff really commercialized and in boxes and ready to be sold. I like back home, but it's a like farmer's market where like there's like a farm agricultural economy that goes straight to this market. But the other thing is like uh, the, the restaurants here, all the menus are about like double size, big, eight ounce, 10 ounce, which is not found in many countries that I've visited. I mean, if you look around here, when you go buy your supplies for food, you go to retail stores where the, the, I mean, they usually keep it frozen or in fridge for a couple of days. While in Armenia, we have the, the fresh market bazaar and it's quite, we do have a couple of retails, but uh, people prefer to go to those bazaars. Comparatively, if we look into, uh, I mean, back at home, they have fast food as well. <clears throat> but it's not as big as over here. But uh, if we look into fresh, the, the mainly the greens of it, and sometimes you know the, 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 the veggies and all, that's what, that's what would attract me a lot more. Yep. I mean, fast food is kind of similar than fast food back home. Uh, but as far as fresh food, the food is, I think is like an American food. Uh, it's way different than from back home because you, you guys use a lot of oil in food, a lot of fat, we don't. I prefer to cook at home. I actually cook almost every single day. Uh, the reason why is, first of all, I save money, just buy grocery and cook food at home. Also, I think it's more healthier. Most of the times I make uh, kapsa, which is a traditional uh, Arabic food. Every, every country in the Middle East has their own uh, version of it. It's basically rice and meat or rice and chicken. But the way to cook it is different from a country to another. We prefer to cook, but we go out because we don't have the time to cook, essentially. Because our cooking, like, cooking for us takes a long time and it's not like individualistic. It's like we all gather and have a meal together. Mostly, I guess I get into Alfredo pasta. I love Alfredo pasta, yeah. Uh, steaks. I get, uh, a, a, some, I mean, I'm, I'm not as good as my mom because she cooks, you know, soups and all those good stuff. But uh, yeah, mainly stuff like that. Nothing, nothing too complicated, I guess, yeah. For us, um, not, we cannot eat anything, essentially. We have specific food, what we call halal. And uh, halal, there's, uh, it's not just like one type of food, like different um, religious sectors in Islam have different definitions of halal, but it's essentially like uh, meats that are like, um, like animals that are slaughtered from what you call the people of the book, which are Jews, Christians and Muslims. So that's the food that we can eat. That's the biggest reason why I cook at home. I buy halal food and make it myself. Uh, I try to avoid restaurant and fast food because most of the time they use uh, either wine to cook food, which is prohibited in my religion, to use alcohol, uh, or sometimes they put bacon in the salad or cheeseburger or something. That's why I try to avoid food here. I think WKU has good food options. I mean, it's not the best, but at least there is like different variety of food options at, uh, on campus. But as for Arabs, I don't think it will meet our requirements. I, th I think most of the restaurants in Bowling Green are similar, it's just different names. They sell the same exact food. It's just different names, different decoration. On campus specifically, I mean, I've seen a lot of, maybe not specifically for me because I'm, I'm not uh, Muslim, but I've seen a couple of students who, who don't feel comfortable but because there's no halal food. So they prefer more of that halal food to have on campus. But overall in Bowling Green, I've heard that there are places where they can get that food. For me as well, uh, I mean, food like, you know, 
off campus only like India oven and all that is comfortable but uh, on campus not 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 too much because it's all of it you know Chick-fil-A I mean Papa John's give me stomach burns you know so yeah I was the president of the Kuwaiti Student Organization and uh, we spoke with the housing and dining department for multiple of times about removing the, the fee and like the mandatory meal plan because uh, it's not personal but many Kuwaiti students are from the Shia Islamic faith which have their own definition of halal. They could only eat food that they prepare themselves which, is, which was unfair for them to pay money and not eat on campus. The best solution is uh, to give them the choice to either like, subscribe to a meal plan or not because um, some people are like, as I said, the religious season cannot eat anywhere on campus. Uh, I guess it would be nice to have, uh, to kind of extend that uh, halal food again, because we're expecting probably a lot of students who are uh, from Middle East or they, they're Muslims itself. And uh, respecting their country, I think we should pay attention to that. I mean, I've, I've seen, you know, I've seen campuses that have food like sushi, or f food that's that's more fresh and needs to be fresh. I mean, again, fresh has it. The name says it, I guess. But I don't feel like it is that way. They should, they should definitely do a survey for international students, also American students, because I hear some people complain about some fast food restaurant closing and some fast food restaurant opening that they don't want. I want. WKU and the restaurants here to ask the students what they want, what they like.